As what usually happens as teams approach training camp, there will be players jockeying for their best chances to earn NHL jobs, and some enter camp ready to compete, while others see franchise cornerstones and top young assets as their competition. And the latter in this case is New York Rangers defenseman Niels Lundqvist. In return for the 5'10", 187-pound right-handed defenseman, the Rangers will be looking to acquire something of value in return. They aren't really under pressure to make a move to fill an immediate need or because they are concerned that they would lose him as an unrestricted free agent because he is under contract for two more seasons at $925,000. And general manager Chris Drury would only be moving him out as a favor for the player, while helping the player to advance their career elsewhere would be a quote-unquote player-friendly type method of management, it will still only occur if the return in a trade helps the Rangers as well. And to that end, the Montreal Canadiens are a very good trading partner as they have assets that could help Drury, but also require what Lundqvist can bring to a team. Head coach Marty San Louis wants to install a fast-paced puck possession style of game for the Canadiens, and in that style, the defense would play a significant role in moving the puck out of the defensive zone, kind of quickly and generating the transition of the game. And currently, the blue line itself is in a transitional period as the team continues his rebuild. Joel Edmondson, Chris Weidman, and David Savard are the returning veterans who will anchor it, and Savard will play a stay-at-home depth style, while others will be relied upon heavily to add mobility. However, neither is seen as anything more than capable of a bottom four rule. The Canadians will also have several young yet inexperienced defensemen that will be rotated into the lineup throughout the upcoming season. Guys like Caden Goulet and Jordan Harris and Justin Barron and possibly several others will be given NHL experience to help their development. However, only Barron is right-handed and the Habs prospect system is lacking a defenseman that can play that side of the blue line. This only highlights the franchise clear need for an additional right-handed defenseman, especially those who are mobile and capable of moving the puck quickly, but also add some power play, kind of quarterbacking abilities to their game. And so this season's approach with a view to individual development and not necessarily building a roster that has a better opportunity to win will lead to mistakes by the youth, and some of those mistakes will likely lead to direct losses. And that being said, it's a necessary growing pain in a rebuild, and what it also means is that the coaching staff can focus on building their offensive games to take advantage of their mobility and individual offensive skill sets. This is a scenario that would allow Montreal to benefit from any trade for Lundqvist as they can insert him into a top four role and allow him to develop without any pressure from the expectation and also having the former New York Rangers GM who drafted the young defenseman Canadians current executive vice president of hockey operations Jeff Gorton on hand could also add some interest in acquiring the young puck mover. Lundqvist was drafted 28th overall in 2018 by the Rangers who used their third first round pick in that year's draft to select him. He plays the modern style of defense that relies heavily on skating skill, mobility, and quick puck movement to defend and transition to the offense. In his case, he is an offense-first player that has an excellent passing game, strong and accurate shot, and an ability to lead a power play. However, his lack of size and strength will need to be addressed by pairing him with a larger, stronger partner who can focus on the defensive side of the game. He showed flashes that he can be a quality offensive defenseman in the top four and on the power play last season with the Rangers. And at 22 years old only, he has time to add some strength and polish his game overall, but he will need to do that at the NHL level. Normally, a player that has Lundqvist pedigree wouldn't be available on a team entering their Stanley Cup window, and the only reason why he would want to have a trade facilitated or that the Rangers would entertain a trade is because of roster space and construction. It essentially falls to the fact that Adam Fox and Jacob Truba and Braden Schneider have cemented themselves at the right side of the Rangers' top six and are all under long-term contracts and leadership roles or on an inexpensive entry-level contract. With that, Lundqvist is by far their best NHL-ready asset that can be used in a trade that would not impact the main roster. That being said, the Rangers will need to be offered quality in return to be convinced to move him, but there is a lot of pressure for Drury to act now as Lundqvist values at his peak and can be moved to address roster needs, particularly at depth scoring and at center. There is no secret that GM Kent Hughes is in search of a right-shot defenseman and has no shortage of depth scoring, even depth at center, that could be of interest to Drury in a deal. While many Habs fans would be throwing at names such as Mike Hoffman or Evgeny Dadanov or even Christian Dvorak as trade options, the Rangers' salary cap space for only $1 million of 2022-23 would be far too little to take on those contracts without Hughes either retaining salary, which is very highly unlikely, or taking on another contract in return, and Drury could also request a first-round selection, yet it is more likely that the Rangers would pretty much want an inexpensive depth defender to use as a seventh defenseman but also a young forward prospect that they could develop. There is a long list in the Habs system that could be packaged in a deal. You could have Jesse Yonan and Sean Farrow, but one name that could be of value from the Rangers' point of view is Jan Mizak. After a very excellent showing at the 2022 World Junior Championship, leading Shekia in scoring, as well to a fourth-place finish, 
Mizek has taken a giant step forward in his development. The Sheck forward has improved in every aspect of his game, positioning, shots, skating, decision making, all of it, all without even sacrificing his offensive production. And his play this past calendar year has shown that he's ready for the next challenge. And in the Rangers system, that can include a lengthy call up to the NHL roster. If the rumor is true, Lundqvist's agent, which is former Canadiens forward Claude Lemieux, will be looking to facilitate a trade for his client to provide him a fresh start prior to training camp, and there are several reasons that the two teams are a logical fit in this trade scenario. Between the connection to Gorton as GM that drafted the player, the needs for Montreal to find a right-handed puck mover, the Rangers need forward for depth, all points the Canadiens are a near-perfect fit as a trade partner. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Thank you guys for tuning in, and have a wonderful day.